Hello everyone, I'm Jason Connell from Sucker Punch Productions. We have a lot to show you today about Ghost of Tsushima. Combat, customization, special modes. But first, let's take a look at how you explore the world of Tsushima. Exploration has been at the heart of our open world design since the very beginning. But you can't have exploration if you don't have curiosity. So we've continually asked ourselves, how can we let the island guide you in the most thematic and immersive ways possible? take you to all kinds of locations in the game, like this farmstead that's been taken over by the Mongols. It can also take you to your next big story moments or even help you find rare collectibles. But what about the things that you don't know about, that you haven't seen yet, that you don't know exist? Keep your eyes peeled for other visual cues. Smokestacks on the horizons, interesting and odd shaped trees, or maybe even animals trying to get your attention. Quickly, no more. Away, my lord. The spirits of vengeful samurai haunt this forest. Let's go, Nobu.
Tsushima is rich with exploration and discovery. And whether you're just following a string of Tori gates that'll lead you to a high mountain shrine, or maybe it's just the fox trying to show you something hidden in the woods. Either way, bring your sense of adventure and let the wind guide you. This is Nate Fox from Sucker Punch. Now, we just showed you some exploration, but let's switch gears and check out some combat. If you've ever seen a samurai movie, you know what to expect. Two warriors sizing each other up, waiting for the other to make the first move. Fight me! As you can see, the Mongols are everywhere on this island. For Jin to succeed, he has to use real skillful precision in fighting them. No wasted energy. Every strike must count. <laughs> Go! Oh. 